It'll be 20 years to the day soon. The day the sky was ripped apart and countless bolts of light rained down upon us. I think this calls for a little history lesson. In 1994, a group of asteroids was discovered taking a long elliptical orbit around the sun. They were created when an unknown asteroid struck the 1986 VG1 Ulysses, an asteroid in orbit around Jupiter. The orbit of these Ulysses asteroids was on a collision course with Earth with an estimated 10,000 meteors set to strike the surface. Since there was no way to divert the orbit of each asteroid, construction began on a vast anti-air railgun network, a last-ditch effort to intercept and destroy the meteors. They built six facilities. The test unit Type 0 was built in China. Type 1 was built in America, and then four Type 5 units were built in Australia, Turkey, Namibia, and Argentina. In July 1999, the asteroids began to strike. Thanks to the railgun network, damage was kept to a bare minimum. Only about enough to destroy the entire world order. Never in its existence had mankind experienced such a catastrophe. It came to be called the Ulysses Disaster. The near total loss of infrastructure led to economic chaos, particularly in the hard-hit Eurasian continent. To avoid total breakdown, the nations of Asia and Southern Europe rearranged themselves into regional federations. Military budgets were slashed, and the Federation poured most of their money into rebuilding. The depletion of energy sources brought on by the loss of territory soon proved to be a major problem, one that quickly led to an escalation in disputes over natural resources. We'll continue this later. to start the briefing. We've got a new guy here today, but I'll have to cut the introduction short. My name's Goodfellow, and I'm your rep from the Arrows. As you know, Arrows is a mercenary force specializing in aerial warfare. Some people like to call us pirates. I prefer they'd call us privateers, at least. We are being employed by the UN Security Council, after all. Anyway, the UNSC's Military Staff Committee just sent Arrows a request for deployment. It was originally going to be an escort mission for the UNF Pacific Fleet stationed in Tokyo Bay, but that's changed. We now have multiple unknown UAVs flying toward Area J4E, Japan's former capital of Tokyo. In other words, right here. The UAVs are likely armed. We need them down before they reach city limits. This will be the first sortie for the rookie here. Tack name, Reaper. Here's your emblem. Omega from the Bone Arrow flight will be supporting you on this mission. Follow his instructions. I'll be expecting results, you hear? Dismissed.
special areas. This keeps up, though. The evacuation zones might be in danger, too. Right out, starboard side! All enemy UAV is down. No further enemy presence in this airspace. This is JASDF 309. Thanks for your support. Glad to be in service. I'm getting the latest damage report now. Looks like they didn't reach the evacuation zones. Not too shabby. These things, uh, boxcraft, you said? Why would they be striking Tokyo? I'll get the UNF to brief me on the UAVs later. All units, prepare to return home. This is believed to be a terrorist attack carried out by armed forces from the Iuli region. They've caused extensive damage to Tokyo. The naval fleet was also attacked, so the UNF generals are all furious right now. The UAVs they used are an upgraded version of the MQ-90 Quox, a Japanese-made UAV that's also been deployed in the Americas. It may be unmanned, but it's still a very powerful bomber. It's equipped with an aggressive aerodynamic design and a new type of semi-automatic control system. The UNSC says it's a Werner Noah product. Apparently the control system's a top secret design that they stole. Werner denies everything, of course. Navigation would normally use a system that relies on improved GPS satellite tech. This craft uses a different relay system for its operations. We also caught an unknown fighter craft flying at high altitude over the area. The UN's going to raid and inspect Werner's facilities in Ayuli and the other special zones shortly. Werner Noah's the biggest company in its field. Normally, the UN doesn't like doing anything to make them angry. Now, though, I guess they don't have much choice.